Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Oh, I've never said that before. <laughs> no. I've never said that before. Who are you? It is our channel. It is our channel. It is. Welcome back to our channel. Let's do that. You can do you that. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome to a brand new video uh, where today we'll be trying foods from places that we have never ever visited before. Yeah, I think this is like round two or three, like two, three-ish, because we've done foods we've never tried before, we've done restaurants we've never tried before, and so this is going to be kind of like a round two of like, yeah, restaurant places we've never tried before. They're quite, we think, well-known ones. Yeah, those sort of places where like someone says, oh, do you, have you tried this? And we go, oh, no. And they go, what? what? You know yeah, saying? yeah. So we're looking for a nice big lunch. But instead of just going to one spot um, for a standard lunch, we're going to be making up like a mega lunch of all of these places that we've never tried before. It's going to be kind of like a starter lunch and dessert. Actually. Pretty much. It's going to be a full meal. Starter lunch, dessert. No, starter main dessert. Starter main dessert Breakfast, lunch. lunch, dinner, that sort of thing. So we're going to go to three or four different places, yeah. come back to the car, and then just have a little... I don't know, like a taste test of all these new yeah. places that we've never tried before. Well, they're not new, but they're new to us. Um, no idea what we're going to get. We've not even looked at menus and stuff. So we yeah. are going to go head out, get a bunch of food and then come back to the car and show you what we got. Do you know what? Over time on this channel, we have become so much less like prepared. Do you remember at the beginning, we'd yeah. literally like be like scanning through so that we knew every bit of information needed. And now we just free ball it a There's lot. There's something quite nice though about making it a video, is. but like just completely real to life. Like yeah. we could go there now and these, all the places will be closed. And then this video is... I feel like things have gone wrong so many times when we're filming that we've kind of got used to it to the point that we just don't plan as much You've anymore. You've got to just embrace <laughs> just the embrace. chaos and the unknown. Be flexible. So yeah, yeah we're going to head into the shop now um, and come out with hopefully a bunch of stuff from Definitely. a few different places. Places that we've never tried before. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right, ready? take this off. Yeah. Tick, you cut off. Okay. Right, guys. We are back. I think the door's open because this light's on. Oh, it's mine. So we are back with our first bits for this video. Um, should we just tell you where we've been? Yeah. There were two places we planned to go to. One is not there at all anymore, even though it's on the website. And the other one is on the website, but it's... Permanently closed. Permanently closed. So thanks, Watford. Cheers for telling us, Watford. Anyway. Anyway, what was there was oh, what was there was Joe and the Juice. Is that what it's called? Uh, Joe, Joe, Joe and, and the Juice. Yeah. Joe and the Juice. I don't think it's called yeah. Joe the Juice. We've never been to Joe and the Juice. No. Walked past it so many times. Seen loads of queues there, and I was kind of like, "What even is this place? Like, What's it's fancy hype? coffee." But apparently, <laughs> did you think it was coffee? I thought it was just coffee. It says Joe and the Juice. But apparently, it's all about juice. Yeah, they do have. You know, mad. coffee and stuff as well, but their main selling point is juice and shakes. shakes. First thing to know is that we've got what we've got here. I've got a juice, you've gone for a vegan, a vegan shake. shake. I went for the sports juice. <laughs> it's tiny. It's a small, it's a small. It's got pineapple, passion fruit, and apple in it. Yeah. Um, and this was like a fiver. It's quite expensive there. Four pound ninety. We were surprised. And they don't do regular, they only do like small or large. But so, I was shocked by the prices, I yeah, really was. it was quite expensive. And this one is, um, I'm just going to get my phone up. So I took a picture. That one is called Blue Magic. It's one of their vegan shakes. Very blue to be fair. They only come in large. Um, you can't get a small. And that one is £7. That is... £7.90, wasn't it? No, £7.10. Oh. And it consists of blue spirulina, hence the very blue of it hemp seeds avocado protein dates lemon cashew coconut drink uh and did you get a picture of mine i did yours is passion fruit fruit passion fruit pineapple and apple that's yeah. what i said yeah it's very blue but that's what you know what blue spirulina does like spirulina what is spirulina? that it's powder and it's basically oh. like you know like um, if you put matcha or anything, it goes green. Yeah. This is such a strong I blue. Okay, I have no idea what this is going to taste like, so let's just try, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cheers. This is very bitty. I'm trying to think There's what the There's loads of stuff be. in it. There's like pineapple in the bottom of this. Can you see? That actually tastes quite nice, but... Do you want to swap? I'm not sure what the bits are, yeah. So that interesting. I think the bits must be the hemp seeds. Yeah. And 
I don't know. It tastes like it's probably really good for your body. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I mean, this yeah. is nice. It's just like a fresh juice. I'm just not sure. It kind of feels like there's oats in there. It's that's like what I'm chewing. It's super heavy. Oh, that's so much thinner. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. really nice. That is nice. Not bad. I mean, I wouldn't go back for a Blue Magic. I'll be honest but... with you. I probably wouldn't go back at all. Hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. But, but please let me know if I'm missing something. I'm really unsure what these bits are. I wouldn't go back for it. Fair no. enough. Yeah. What else we did we did get though? We thought we should try something food from them. So we got their quite nice packaging. Nice little box. We got their banana bread. It looks kind of just like a mini banana loaf. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. Nice. The thing is, lots of people were getting their food as well, so maybe that's what we're missing. Mm. Maybe you're going to come in and say, "Hey, like, stop slagging off Joe and the juice. The food's banging." You're the one slagging it off. I would just say I wouldn't return. I it think it's, it's over overpriced juice. This is nice. Not very banana-y though. Mm. Very sweet. That's a nice loaf. If you gave that to me, I don't know if I'd guess banana though. It just sort of tastes like a sweet, sweet sponge. A bit walnutty. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a bit earthy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's the way that, yeah. That's just the starter. Another place we've never been to, guys, is Tortilla. Seen it a few places. I love Mexican food. We love Mexican food. We love Mexican food. We were meant to go to two different burger places, which, yeah. you know. We'll keep it for another video, though, so we hopefully. won't reveal what they were going to be. <laughs> In another video, we, what was it? I think it was like Halloween for the whole day. You said, or we both said, like, oh, we're not going to tell you what we get for dinner. The place, and in the thumbnail, you can see clearly just Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> well, the thumbnail is always an afterthought. It but is. we have gone to Tortilla for the very first time. We planned to get a chicken burrito, which we did get, and a roast veg taco yeah. mix. They didn't have any roast veg, which mean, meant you couldn't even have it in your burrito or anything, or your taco. Taco? Taco. Taco taco so we went for their vegan chili yeah tacos absolutely and we've gone for a, nice. a chicken burrito first thing to say about this burrito is that i went for a large and it is a big it's hefty isn't it and feel the weight on that oh my god <laughs> so i've got the vegan chili tacos here the chili and avocado and some sweet corn on top this smells good i can just show That's you this. huge See the chicken just peeping out there. So in this burrito, we've got chicken, black beans, mm -hmm. um, guacamole, salsa, what else? rice, rice, uh, um, tomato rice. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You know what that is, Tracy? It's nice. The guacamole is good. Mm. And so is the salsa. It is good. All right. That vegan chili is nice. Oi. That is rammed. And we'll try and show you this. That was probably the most unattractive thing I've ever eaten. Bam! <laughs> Got you big time there. Kind of colourful. I can't say I've ever had like the sweet corn on a taco before. Do you want to swap? Do you want to try a bit of this? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so heavy. Where am I meant to bite? <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Wherever you can get your head round. My head? Oh, this is nice. Ow. This isn't it. I actually can't do this. That'll do. How's that? Mmm, that's good. We should say that if you've not been to Tortilla before, that you can like, you select everything as you go along, mm. right? Like you choose exactly what you want in you it. Like it's not a standard, yeah. Yeah. Mm. How much was all this? Joe and juice, two juices and a cake cost 14 quid. A massive burrito and three tacos cost the same. 14 quid each. Really? Yeah. The big burrito is quite... Not ex not overly expensive, yeah, but it's eight pricey. Quid, it? Yeah, like you can just get a normal size. Cause that is huge. Back of three, two people. Standard. That is huge. I would say these are a bigger hit than the juice for me. Although your juice, I I have now have come to the conclusion, after letting it mull it over a bit, that your juice is much nicer. The but juice is nice. It's just a bit... Juice. It's just a juice, yeah. Okay, that is done for our Joe and the Juice and Tortilla. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, I think, you know... Tortilla was yeah. a return by Joe and the Juice, probably not. Joe and the Juice, no return. Tortilla would, will be back. Would, yeah. But we're going to go grab our dessert now um, from the place we've never been before, and then we'll catch you guys back when we've got it. Absolutely. All right, guys, so um, it's later on now. Um, we are not at home, as you can probably see. 
We are babysitting this evening. Yeah, we're on babysitting duty for my little niece, but she's yeah. in bed. We've got the little baby monitor here. If her mum and dad are watching. She's fast asleep, bless her. Our final meal, if you can call it that, has just been delivered. Literally. And it looks a little ago. bit like this. So, what better way to finish our eating from places we've never tried before video than with shake tastic milkshake milkshakes for dessert the packaging is pretty like that is solid i like that a lot and that's just been delivered and it's not completely melted so props already for that that's pretty yeah good. you've never ever tried shake tastic um obviously quite well known it even says here famous for our milkshakes and award-winning award smoothies. smoothies. Oh, no idea. There you go. Uh, neither of us have ever been to a Shake Tastic. No. Like, don't get me wrong. We've tried like milkshake parlors before. Oh, of course, yeah, like Shake Away and like you know, all the ice cream places do yeah. milkshakes. But like Shake Tastic is just juices and milkshakes. Milkshakes. Like we thought, oh, maybe they'll do a dessert as well, but nah. this one didn't. Like, I don't think any of them do. Heard lots of really good things about Shake Tastic. Everyone says that oh, you've got to try it. We've never tried it, so. This is the perfect chance. Actually, where we are moving, guys, um, just on the high street of where we're moving, yes. there is a Shake Tastic there. Yeah. And we, whenever we drive past it to sort of visit the flat, we always say, oh, we need to go in we'll there, go we need to go there. in there. Never got around to it, nope. so now is the time. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two milkshakes for our dessert. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. I went for the vegan monster, the people's favorite, so I think this is like a regular one that they have yeah. and they've now made it vegan. This has got coconut milk in it, but you could have soya. Um, and then I added lotus spread, vegan chocolate chip cookies, and there's crumbled lotus biscuit at the bottom there. Oh yeah, I can see. So good. Let me Wait, see that's mad. You can see the biscuit there at the bottom. This looks pretty good. I've got to admit, that does look pretty good. And then your um, one. I went for one of their like ready-made signature ones, oh, yeah. guys. Oh yeah, yours is just called Shake Book. So mine's called Shake Book, and I can remember what's inside it. It is Ferrero Rocher and Kinder Bueno, all blended up, um, then with whipped cream on top, and then cookie crumb on the top of it. Oreo. Oreo, that's that it, That does yeah. look good, to be fair. Here we go. These are thick straws. Like, you know when you have McDonald's milkshake, you know that that straw's not lasting the whole exactly. milkshake. this is what you These need. These are solid. And they're paper, so it's so, all right. Ready? I'm actually buzzing for this, I'll be honest with you. Oh, man. Okay. Mm. We've got to cheers this one, I reckon. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I didn't get any. I literally didn't get any. You got a proper guy out here. Oh my goodness. I just got so much like of a mixture of milkshake and biscoff and that's it. That is well good. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, the Frere Rocher. There's still some like nutty, like crumbly bits in mine. This is mm. banging. That is serious. I keep getting huge like chunks of biscoff mm. biscuit. Oh, that is good. Wow. Yeah. You're gonna like that a lot. Oh, this is good. Proper nutty. This is so biscoffy. I know. Wow, you see, is... there's so much biscoff at the bottom as well. This is literally just like sucking biscoff. <laughs> I added extra biscoff spread oh, in there as well. There's a crumb at the bottom. Yeah. You hear it, look. Oh, it's got some biscuit. How good is that? Oh, yeah. Don't just think it, drink it. Well, you've proper mixed around the biscuits mm -hmm. well, so it's in every sip now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like chocolate sauce along the sides and around the bottom. What a treat this is, That's though. That's delicious. What a treat. That is everything you want in a milkshake. When you compare this, right, to the milkshakes of Five Guys, they're probably not too far off price-wise. No. This was like a pound more. This is an elite milkshake compared to theirs. I think it's the bits. Mm. Like, because you've got biscuit in there. For me, it feels more like a dessert. I don't know. Like, it feels sort of like a there's a cheesecake in there somewhere, mm. all mixed up in there, blended. But you did add extra biscuit, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. That will do it. Good end to the day. Buzzing. Good that. end to the video. I think, especially after our experience with Joe and the juice, this has redeemed drinking for me. Out of our day, I'm gonna go backwards. So, my yeah, number one was the shake. Then it was. Tortilla. tortilla and then Joe the juice 100% agree 
when I'm doing a green but like we always say guys we love doing these videos because it means we actually get to try new things yeah um, and obviously I think it's easy to get stuck into habits sometimes and just order like the same thing or yeah. have the same food so and we do that a lot even though like obviously we do try and mix it up quite a lot on the channel day to day yeah. we are quite creatures of habit yeah so like even like these like we've said for so long oh we'll go there we'll go there we'll go there just never been never been so we thought Put in the video. Yeah. Comment on this video down below. Let us know what you haven't tried or where you haven't eaten before. Especially like the well known. Yeah. Like yeah. like if you hadn't had McDonald's before, it's kind yeah, of like I mean, come on. where have you been sort of thing. Yeah. If you haven't, to each their own. Absolutely, Fair enough. Yeah, but, love it. But it's always interesting for us to look at. Like if I it. said to you, like, oh I've never tried this random in independent place, it's not a surprise. Nah. But if you've never tried McDonald's, you've never it's been more to KFC, like, then it's like what? All right, guys, so that's probably a good place to end this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please do get involved in the comment section. Smash a thumbs up. Um, we hope you have had a lovely weekend. Um, and yeah, just let you know, guys, we're going on a trip. We are. A we, last minute trip. Yes, very last minute. Uh, we are going to a beautiful Vienna in Austria. Um, it's meant to be like a great foodie spot, so we're buzzing mm -hmm. to get there. Very exciting. Um, yeah, we'll call it there for now, guys. Uh, we'll see you very soon for some brand new videos. Until then, take care, and we'll see you very soon.